Hi, welcome back to Forbes Games. I'm Eric Kane, and today I wanted to talk about Windows 11. Microsoft's new operating system comes out on October 5th, and there are many, many good reasons to upgrade, especially if you are a Windows 10 user, because the upgrade is free. Now, if you're a gamer and you play PC games, there's even more reasons. Microsoft is building this as the best ever operating system for games, and there are a few reasons why. For one, it incorporates Xbox, the app, and Xbox Game Pass directly into the operating system rather than as something that you download. So this just ties your Xbox and your PC ecosystem together in a little bit more close-knit fashion. Uh, there's also auto HDR and uh, direct storage. These are, these are technologies that are already part of Xbox Series X and make your PC just play a little bit more like the Xbox Series X, giving you better gra graphical capabilities, better lighting, and just making it all a little bit easier. Uh, there's also DirectX 12 Ultimate, and so all these things combined should give you a superior gaming experience on PC. But, <laughs> word of caution, and uh, this is something I, I say you know, fairly frequently, I say this about video games, it is not always wise to be an early adopter, especially if you're not really big into tinkering with your PC or tinkering with technology and software. Uh, if you don't want to be the canary in the coal mine or the guinea pig, maybe just don't upgrade to Windows 11 right away, even though it's free and it's tempting. Maybe give it a few weeks, maybe give it a couple months. Just wait and see what reviewers and testers and other gamers have to say about it before you hop on the bandwagon. Uh, a new operating system comes with a, a number of risks. Uh, there's there's just so many different PC components, so many different moving pieces, uh, that it's very possible there's gonna be some hiccups along the way. So give it a little while, have a little patience, and see what happens. Uh, it could be that everything works out great and Windows 11 works perfectly and everyone is happy, but in my experience, I guess I'm a little jaded. Uh, a lot of times launches of you know new software go, you know maybe not all bad, but a little bad, and you don't wanna be part of that necessarily. Now if you do, if you're excited about this and you wanna be the canary in the coal mine, dive right in, but otherwise, you know, give it a little while. There is no rush to get off of Windows 10. It is a perfectly, perfectly good operating system and it works fine for games. All the things I listed earlier, like auto HDR, uh, better use of SSDs, yeah, this will make games look better, load faster, theoretically. Um, it's possible that, I mean, I, th I think ultimately, yes, Windows 11 will be an upgrade for gamers. But right out the gates, you just never know. So give it a little time, be patient, and, uh, you know, read some of your trusted PC gamer authorities, watch some uh, some YouTubers, uh, Subscribe to Forbes Games, and and we'll we'll do our best to to report the 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 results, the facts, the details, the outcomes of Windows 11 and how it incorporates with graphics cards, memory, video games, and and all the rest. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to Forbes Games, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.